It isn't that you're living in accordance with nature. Nature is a changing process. So any time you find a formula for working with nature, if it continues to change, your formula has to be updated. So people say to me, what will people of the future be like? Or what are the conditions of the future? Is it great scarcity? Is it a military dictatorship? Is it a cooperative society? What will the environment provide? Would we have destroyed the oceans and the fish and poisoned the land? All of those things determine what the future could be. That's why it's not possible for people to sit down and design the ideal world because it keeps changing. And so do your values change. What is a good person or a bad person? There's no such thing. There's behavioral variations depending on what is available. If the proposals are based on changing conditions, they're more appropriate than proposals based on a fixed system in the environment. Unless man learns to control nature, and can control nature, produce abundance of whatever they wanted, then they can design a society that's relatively stable to the conditions that they control. But if you produce a population far in excess of what the earth can produce, your system won't work. I hope that using science and technology will make a future where there are less drastic choices and more opportunities for more people. But you'd have to think ahead to do that.